Alrighty, well, I've got a few bits and bobs for this uh, van. Um, got a uh, one of these, your little, um, you know what that is, you stick your phone in there. I've got the dash cam, which I sort of had all along, um, but the chip blew in the damn thing. So I had to uh, rustle around and I got another chip and uh, yeah, put it in and that's all going. Um, tried to get into that cigarette lighter plug there didn't really do the fitting much good and i just cut a notch there so it's ended up going in the bottom one here and i've cut a fairly big notch in there uh, but i can leave the plug inside and close it for this thing which gives me two usb leads and two cigarette lighter charging ones that's the dash cam one uh, that's like a really long lead. It's actually an amp and a half. It's not exactly the most efficient blooming thing. Um, like one and a half amp USB. But it's it's not the, the micro USB for charging your phones. It's like the mini USB for charging like cameras and shit. Um, and uh, yeah, those little buttons there. That's like turns on and off your respective cigarette lighter plugs. And uh, yeah... So I have another, of course, another charging one there. I think that's only half an amp, maybe even only quarter amp. It's really slow. Uh, but that's 3.1 between the two of those. Which means I can charge 2 amp without a problem. Um, I have, uh, yeah, theoretically, earliest date was today. Uh, and it might be anything into next week sometime. I was going to get some... Uh, Electric heating pads, the USB ones, uh, two amp each, and I was get two of those, and they're coming in, only coming in from the capital, you know, so they shouldn't be taking very long at all, but uh, yeah, I should hopefully get those within the next few days, uh, and also coming in from Hong Kong with a bit of a longer date on it is a water pump, it's a tiny little one, it, it's probably... Oh, you know, it's going to be half a gallon a minute or something pretty shit. And um, that's also USB powered. So I've been running around trying to organise... Uh, well, first of all... I've... Oh, you might be able to see it. Just there, a little fan. I uh, <laughs> You'll see a video on that. I had to pull one of those apart. I have seven of those things, actually, that I got for $2 each. It's a little solar panel... Uh, thing that runs a ventilation fan uh, and it, you know you hook it in the window and you got like this little bit of this y-shaped rubber extrusion that'll go and jam in between the window and the groove for the window to give you enough room to put that um, little fan vent outside but the solar panel and the fan itself are inside uh, but I wanted to run it at night so I've been testing the solar panel. It tested it between no load. It was 2.2 to 2.5 volts. And I realized that that is not going to run off USB. But it can run off two flat AA or AAA batteries. So I've got the battery holders for those and all the circuits. And I even have the ability to actually put C or D size batteries so long as I can solder wires onto those batteries, which I have four C size batteries and I've been soldering wires on. And I've got little alligator clips and, and we can hook it all on. But you'll see that when it's finished. I uh, sort of had an excessively long video uh, showing that and uh, what not. Uh, in the meantime, we can do USB heating or water pumps off big donk. Uh, 15,000 milliamp hour. And, uh, and the other one that I've had for a little while, the 8,000 milliamp hour. Oh, yeah. There you go. 8,000 milliamp hour. And this one I only just got, and it's a fucking monster of a one compared to the other one, you know, like it's, and it's significantly thicker. And hopefully you can see that. Yep. You know, I realised I have a cordless drill battery that's 54 watt hours, and those batteries are like 150 bucks each or some bullshit. And uh, this was 32 bucks. How times change, eh? <laughs> 
So anyway, that's, they're both essentially the same, except that they just you got the recharge plug in the top there, whereas this one's got it on the side. Uh, but this is yeah, quite a bit bulky. But because they they took take two amps each, um, they oh, I forget how it works. Um, yeah, they're ten watts each because they're five volt two amp. So that means 5.4 hours of running a heating pad. And, well, basically, yeah, three hours of running a heating pad. <laughs> so there you go. But ultimately, I have done another thing today, and that is go out and buy. And it's sitting in the back passenger floor of the uh, G6 right now. And that's a 100 amp hour um, 12 volt AGM battery. So it's your absorbed glass mat deep cycle. And uh, that, uh, yeah, that cost me 380 bucks. This is, it was going to be about 1800 for a lithium iron. <laughs> That's an 80 amp hour. But uh, so I got the big 100 amp hour Bish, which will definitely run more than I ever need to run. And uh, all I got to do is, uh, you know, get your little USB charger thing that you usually get for your cigarette lighter and plug it in, and I'll have my heating pads in it. And if not, you know got these two and uh yeah so anyway i don't know if i might take this van on a little trip before or after then we'll just see how it all goes um but uh, i am definitely taking it to a certain place that i was advised to go to uh which i find out has fire pits and by hell i'm going to take plenty of firewood and we're going to light some ripper fires and it's near a lake as well so Apparently one of the best camping spots, according to some people, one of, some, one of the best in the state. It's a bit of a drive for me, but I have been to this place multiple times before to the town that it's near. Uh, yeah, and it's actually just before, uh, it, well, not before, it's, it's on the outer side of one side of the town, basically. Um, but, yeah, so anyway, that's, uh, that's the go with all... Uh, little electronics and, and whatnot here, and um, yeah.